We continue along past some of the typical working class housing of Philadelphia into Fairmont Park, which is the largest urban park in America. And in Fairmont, you have the normal green lawns and such, plus a collection of eight colonial mansions that are on public display. And we visited one of them, Mount Pleasant. These houses were um, included a lot of ground. Uh, they were working farms. This house was a 160 acre plantation. So imagine all the, the farm uh, plantings and animals that would have been around it. Uh, the produce was uh, used by the family and also some of it went to market. So it was also a source of income for the family. This house was built by a very wealthy Scottish privateer. Captain John McPherson built this house. He uh, was involved in many uh, battles as a legal pirate. He plundered the Spanish bullion ships in the Caribbean and in an engagement with the French, he lost his right arm. Much of the spoils uh, went to the British crown, but with what was left, he built Mount Pleasant. He wanted to build a very showy house. This is not like the houses that his Quaker neighbors built. If you were in the historic area in the city just now, you probably noticed that most of the houses were red brick with white trim. Well, he purposely did the opposite color scheme here to make this house zing out and, and grab your attention. The house is in the Georgian style, and if you're familiar with that, it, it means that everything's very symmetrical. You could take your hand and slice right down the center, and you'll see how everything on the right balances what's on the left. And the back of the house looks the same as the front of the house. So this Georgian mansion is exquisitely balanced. And inside we have a number of original furnishings. There's Chippendale furniture, which is extremely valuable nowadays. And it gives you an idea of what the wealthy upper class mercantile society was like back in the colonial days. There's beautiful grounds and also an outlying house for the servants. Hey. Is this going to be on MTV? <laughs> CNN. You can visit the whole series of eight mansions on the grounds of Fairmont Park. There's a trolley that provides hop-on, hop-off service if you'd like to do it on your own. They're all operated by the Philadelphia Museum of Art. So what better follow-up than a visit to the museum itself, starting with lunch at the Museum Cafe. They have a fabulous salad bar with grilled vegetables, or you can get a hamburger deluxe or various other items off the menu. There's also a faster, less expensive cafeteria, if you like, at the museum. This is one of the great art museums in the world. It's certainly in America's top five art museums. They've got a large collection of French Impressionism you see here. They've got post-Impressionism. In fact, they have everything at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. It's an encyclopedic collection. Along with paintings and sculpture, they have architectural reconstructions of Hindu temples and Japanese homes.